Hello everyone, Amadeus here and today I want to introduce you as something that is a new experience for me. If you watch my video, you know my son was just born a few days ago and today I'm in a mother center and I'm going to introduce you what is that thing. So let's get started. Everybody knows Taiwan is famous for its convenience, healthcare and tradition. Everything in Taiwan is so simple and as easy as possible, especially if you can pay money for that, it's super easy. So people are gonna make all the effort to sell it to you, give it to you, deliver to you any service, any product, as easy as it possible. Second thing is, Taiwan has great healthcare and it's like jammed with good doctors, clinics, hospitals. And third one, traditions from ancient China till the day now. So as a result of three things, Taiwanese women, after they give a birth, they have a tradition of doing tuo yezi. Tuo yezi literally means to sit a month. Sit as a rest, as a don't do anything, as a relax, and you know, everybody should take care of the women who just delivered a baby. You know, some of those traditions are a bit outdated, and I don't quite understand, like for example, uh, for one month, you're not supposed to wash your hair as a woman, and lots of foreigners freak out. I mean, I know one guy who just, she just have to sleep, you know, on the floor next to his wife for one month because she refused to wash her hair and he said it's like unbearable, but I love her and I'll do whatever she wants. Just don't make me sleep right next to her. So that's one of the traditions. The other tradition, I don't understand either, is like boiling big pots of water before taking a bath and actually kind of avoiding taking a bath too often. Another way is like not leaving a house for a month because it's like dangerous and I, I don't know exactly why and I kind of imagine those traditions are great you know in Qin Dynasty or in the places where the water is not the best quality but in a first world country like Taiwan it doesn't make sense to me but you know still I'm just I'm just a foreigner here I'm doing my best to understand things but this one is something I, I cannot get it so last time when my baby was born the first baby we actually didn't stay at the at the mother center, we stay at home and at some time my wife that not supposed to wash her hair, she said she cannot stand it, so she decided to wash her hair together with her mom. And after this, they were like, you know, they're like very scared that you're supposed to have dry your hair as soon as possible. So they use two hair dryers at the same time. Pop! Electricity kick out. I think that was more dangerous, you know, so that's why I think some traditions are, you know, not so good in 2023. However, Yezi Tongxing or Mother Center or Postpartum Center, whatever you call it, I think it's a great thing actually. So let me let me introduce you a bit how it looks here, right? So basically it's, you know, it's when you open the door, it's like a regular hotel room as you can see it so this is one of the first tricky thing so your food is delivered here right uh, even have a banana here and later it's taken away here so respecting the culture and the idea of helping women and not getting them tired too much it's pretty great because there is no interaction between workers and her she can just pick up the food whenever she feels get up from the bed and rest little higher here the same thing you put your dirty clothes they disappear and a clean clothes come back next day obviously you have a fridge Taiwan always have fridges in a hotel that's pretty great actually here oh uh, you have some oh that's me hey how's it going and this is the bathroom and what I love about Taiwan and Japan I mean Taiwan is the fact they respect the Japanese tradition of washlets if you don't know what washlet is I'm sorry for you but you need to really get one of those at home you know it changed my life really okay so the next thing is obviously the room well this is not really that different than any other room you have your bed you have your phone you can call any nurse anybody you need any time of the day tally this is very Taiwanese thing of you can put your clean dishes or utensils dry them off here and I think it comes with, yeah, it's, it's cleaning them with uh, ozone, uh, if I'm wrong, maybe not. But definitely dry them off so they have a higher temperature. This way they are more sterile, yeah, they're more, they are more hygienic to use, right? You have a telly and, you know, here's also like little room. You know, obviously no smoking, you know, come on. It's obvious you shouldn't be smoking in, in this kind of places. So yeah, 
That's how it looks more or less. Although the place seems mostly like a typical hotel room because it is like hotel room that is connected with the hospital and the healthcare and nurses. So as you can see, I'm, I'm only myself here. Why is it this? Because my wife just went to feed the baby and due to COVID, yeah, it's 2023 in Taiwan, due to the COVID, like nobody can touch the baby. Like a few years ago, we can just, just play with the baby anytime. And the great thing about the mother centers is actually there are nurses and there's a staff that takes care of the baby all the time. Because, well, that's like very crazy for like, you know, Taiwanese women and Western women that they don't get it. But okay, in the West, most of my friends or family, like my sister, deliver the baby. They kick you out from the hospital basically same day. In Taiwan, you, have to, you need to stay three days in a hospital after baby's born. They run the test and everything is okay. You can either leave the hospital or stay in a mother center. Last time we went home, we hired a midwife to help us with the baby, which is also an option if your house is, you know, big enough, convenient enough. But like, uh, there are lots of good things about this, and there are some obviously like you know disadvantages. You know, like the the midwife is only there for eight hours a day, and if you stay at the mother center, it's 24 hours a day. Somebody takes care of your baby, so you can just rest. They come with six dishes a day and they are prepared for a woman who just give a birth. It's a mix of Chinese medicine, but it's, you know, lots of those things are actually proven and, you know, like back up by the science. So don't be worried about this. And the next thing is, you know, you have the special tea. I don't want to try it, but you can try it anytime you have a water to fill up, you know, in this hotel. Catering is included and also the, the, the medical care. Whenever something happens, like, you know, like you don't feel right or you don't feel, you feel good, you can just call someone. The baby is taking care of 24 hours. My wife only lives like four times a day to, to feed the baby. And yeah, this is the only time she can now touch the baby or interact with him. We can only see the baby for like, you know, 30 minutes through the glass window. Not the best thing, but well, you know, we didn't have options and we, we found the, the mother center the best thing because this is our second baby. The first baby is two years old and you know, she needs some attention, she needs some stuff. So we cannot imagine having them two the same time at home and like, you know, for the first few weeks at least we can like take a break and you know have things you know settle down before i was talking about the midwife so here the food is served just for my wife right but before we had a midwife she would cook the food for us at home which is great but you need to imagine that she's gonna cook like large portions of chinese typical food which is made for pregnant women which is not always very tasty and which is very I would say bland, oh, supposed to be for regenerating your body rather than you know like uh, nourishing your taste buds. So for a person who is not pregnant or deliver a baby, it's kind of difficult to eat for a daily basis. So sometimes I feel very, very bad with that combination. However, you know the the, the lovely lady who cooked that. The midwife was a bit difficult for me because I come from different countries. I have own ways of doing things at home. As long as I'm outside, I, yeah, I obey the rules and I respect the rules of people doing. But when I'm at home, I like to do things my way, that the way I, I agree with my wife and, you know, our kids also are raised. So sometimes having someone from outside, you know, it's just gonna, I don't know, a little stressful or like unnecessary. So far, we're very happy with the mother center, but there is obviously something, as I say before, Taiwan is very convenient, Taiwan is great. They're gonna deliver anything to you in a most convenient way, but it comes with this one. So the mother center cost us around a little more than 80,000 NT for 20 days, because if you do that more than 20 days, it's like 15% discount. It's basically 5,000 NT a day for the hotel room, for the food and for the taking care of baby comes as a set you cannot really separate it, I think this is like one on the cheaper side because you can start at 3,000 NT I believe there are some places and some of them are very luxury they cost like 30,000 NT I don't know where they come from I, I believe you have like spa included maybe swimming pools maybe massage I mean they are very very good but you know they come at the price I tell you something like I make this video because Taiwanese are obviously know what I'm talking about, but if you know any foreigners who have Taiwanese wife or like actually can be a spouse of the Taiwanese guy too and you come from foreign country 
and it's good to learn about this place and it's good to consider and it's good to understand the idea of mother center and the traditions in Taiwan because it is something very important for women and they go through lots of pain for like you know nine months and then after deliver the baby it's just like apogeum like the, the highest level of the extreme pain and it's so important for Taiwanese or like Asian women that even if they live abroad they will just fly back to their country just to deliver baby because of this tradition and well it makes sense right to wrap up this video I want to tell you that I do find it expensive it's the probably the highest amount of money we pay for staying somewhere ever but is it worth it well we try to cut it's lots of money for us too so you know we look for a smaller room which is cheaper but at the same time we didn't save on a healthcare because we know the hospital here is great so you know that's important for us and happy wife happy life that's for sure listen to your wife make her happy your life gonna be better that's the thing so if your wife feels like she's very tired she feels exhausted and you can give her like relief and some happiness obviously go for it and I know it's a little expensive but you know you know how many kids you have in your life unless you have seven kids that might be a lot of money but if you have two one kid three kids if you divide it by like you know 100 years you live that's not too much money is it right so I think it's not such a it's you know it's something you can handle right by the way having kids is already expensive so you don't worry it's just <laughs> just better get used to from the first day but well tell me what's your opinion about mother centers so do you think staying mother center is a good idea would you prefer to take your kid home or maybe hire a midwife so who can actually help you with this stuff or you know like some people just stay with their family bring you know grandma and aunties and rest of the family sit together and take care of one baby tell me what do you think is the best and write me any comment if you have questions about this place i'll be very happy to answer or probably some people know more and they're gonna actually answer for you i don't know let's see thanks for watching my video i hope you enjoy it and see you next time bye bye